everybody? How you guys doing today? So I kind of wanted to talk to you guys real quick. Um, I feel like I owe a bit of an explanation to people as to why I've done so many vaping videos in the last couple of weeks. Um, why I've done these and what the purpose of them is. You know, uh, what the purpose of the, these videos are and. Uh, why I feel it's important to to make these. Um, so here we go. Um, those of you who know, I live in Colorado, and I don't know about the rest of the vaping world, but I know that in Colorado, there's been a lot of. Um, I do know about the rest of the vaping world, but not as much as I know about what's going on at home for me. What's going on, like, in my own very, in my very own state. What the problems are. Um, so here we go. The FDA has regulated the hell out of this industry. And for a while, back in 2013, we just thought, you know, hey, listen, there's going to be some regs, and, you know, it's not going to be a huge issue, but it's turned out to be one. And how it's turned out and why it's turned out to be one is because of the new regs set forth by the FDA. Um, so, typically, I would say... Sit back and let's have a vape. And pull out something like this. Or maybe. <coughs> this thing's got some nicotine in it. Sit back and let's have a vape. And talk about something like this. Maybe I would say to the more advanced guys, sit back and... I need to juice these coils up. Let's have a vape. Or if you're on the go, maybe you wanna maybe you wanna have a vape. I just turned it off. Solid little hitter for if you're on the go. But today, what I'm going to bring to you is let's have a vape. <coughs> Nasty shit. Nasty. Disgusting. This this sucks. Okay? But this is the future of vaping if we don't do something about it. <clears throat> this is what this uh, industry is, is going to. Sega likes these with these little 300 milliamp hour batteries, some pre filled cardos that even if you know how to refill yourself, you can't rebuild them. So eventually, you're gonna have to keep buying these, even if you know how to refill them, they're only gonna be refilled maybe three or four times, and then you have to go and buy more. This kit was sent to me a couple years ago to review by Blue, and I decided not to do it. Actually, no, I did do it. Um, and it's, my opinion still hasn't changed. This is the future of vaping. This is what, this is what we're going to, you know, 
head towards. And the sad thing is, oh God, this is bad. <coughs> the sad thing is, is, you know, we, we quit smoking for our health. We quit smoking so that we wouldn't continue to fork money into big tobacco, uh, an industry that doesn't give a shit about us. Blue's a big tobacco company. They're owned by, I think it's Philip Morris. So if we're forced, if our hands are forced to stay into something like this, if our hands are forced into staying into something like this, this is where, this is where we're going. And I don't know about you, but this never kept me off of cigarettes. This never kept me off of cigarettes. I, this did. Something like this. This is a zero nicotine mother's milk, which is strawberries and cream by Red Rock Vapor. This, this is a zero milligram juice that has kept me, I started at 24. I'm at zero now, and this is what did it. Not this specific mod, or, you know, but something like that. It was actually an ego that did it, with a C4 clear miser, a real beginner startup. Not this. I've got a bunch of these at home. I've got the Views, I've got the Mark 10, the... Um, Blues, I got a couple of these batteries because they came with the set. Oh man, can't get used to that. This is pina colada, and all I'm tasting is like harsh, bitter nicotine and some maybe semblance of a pina colada flavor. This isn't it. I don't want this. You know, this takes away everything we can do. This takes away the rebuilding. This is the most things you can do with this. I gotta cut my nails. I didn't realize that. Well, I said it in my video before, but I really need to cut them. This is the most you can do. You can change out the clear, the, the cartomizer on it, and you can, and, ooh, look at that. Five draw technology or whatever it is. No, six, sorry, there you go. Five around and one in the middle. Ooh, look at that airflow. The entire cardo fits inside of my chuff gap. The entire thing, and I've still got more room in here. Much better airflow. And it's adjustable. I can customize this vape to how I want it. This is just basically a point and shoot. It's disgusting. <coughs> it's bad. But this is where we're going if we allow the... I can't say allow. Some of the regs are good. I don't agree with Proposition 65 being on zero nicotine bottles. But if it has to be there, it has to be there. I'm willing to give on that. When we start doing things, you have, you know, like, uh, somebody saw me with a box mod the other day, with my box, with the, with the boo boo drag, and they said to me, oh, you're one of those guys. <laughs> the attitude, and it, it, we are contributing to it a little bit. You have the vapors that go out and blow huge clouds inside buildings and stuff. Which, you know, we shouldn't do. I don't think we should have to be stuck to smoking areas, which I'm in a smoking area right now. But I don't think we should have to be stuck to those and forced to be in those. 
Um, I mean, if you're vaping nicotine, I think you should be in there. But if you're not, I think we should be able to be out, you know. I, okay, I can't really say that, actually. Um, if you're vaping, I think we should be allowed to be out, whether you're not, in, whether you're in zero nick or not. We should be able to be out in the community. Like, not having to be chained to a smoking area to vape. But, you know, you had the people that were blowing clouds inside of it. And I was one of those pricks at one time. Um, but you should obey. You know, you should be courteous. Um, but these FDA regs, man, and the flavor bans that are going on in places like Oakland, you know, they're going to force people into going back to cigarettes, which none of us want to do. You know, I, I, I was actually, um, I'm going to be doing a, a uh, in the next few months after I get a good, because I've got some more juices to review, after those get out of the way, I'm going to go over some of the liquids that I've gotten from a tobacco store, which I have gotten a few, and from gas stations and stuff like that, and grocery stores and stuff like that. Um versus what you get from a vape shop. Spoiler alert, vape shops cater to you better. They are much better quality. But, you know, I'm going to go over what's available to everybody that's just going to stop at a smoke shop. Cause these, and, and what the difference between a smoke shop and a vape shop are. And I will tell you, they're big, big differences. They're big differences. And... why we should be, you know, be responsible, be courteous. Don't draw more attention to this community because people already have ideas about us. Um, and we don't need to contribute to those. When they said, oh, you know, you're one of those guys, that tells me that that person had a preconceived idea of what vapors are. And people don't know us. People don't know the vaping community it's a wonderful wonderful community it's a great community and people like people like when my you know a couple weeks ago i had it out with my sister for calling somebody a vaping faggot my sister lives on the opposite end of the country she didn't know i vape because we only see each other every few years when one of us well, if i make it back to new york or she makes it out here to colorado we don't you know and she called, said vapors are faggots and Trouble starters and fucking emo kid and all this other shit. And there's already enough, I, you know, ideas out there. The thing about vaping is, is it? I mean, there's an entire community behind it. You go to these shops, you have, uh, you know, you you have people from all walks of life. You know, from from ex convicts to tattooed bikers to you know CEOs of companies. And people that come from all different places. And the one thing that unites us is, <clears throat> is this. And that may sound ridiculous to you, but you gotta remember, I always tell people that smoking is just an addiction, just like drugs, just like alcohol. It's an addiction. Um, it's an addiction. And it's something that you have to break it. When you break it, and you're in a community of people that you that have also broken it, or that are breaking it, it's a bonding thing. It's um, it's something that, it's something that's really, really cool. And with all these legislations, man, it's going to limit the what the vape shops can do. It's going to limit all kinds of stuff in this community, man. And I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. Um, I don't want to go to this. I don't want this to be my answer. Yeah, it's cool and all. It comes in a little pack shaped thing and, you know, kind of, it gives you, you can flick it, pretend that, you know, you're actually smoking a cigarette. And, it, you know, it comes in a charging pack. You close it, it charges for you. And, but this is what I want. You know, yeah, it was easy to smoke a cigarette. You take it out of the pack, you light it up, boom, you're smoking. Here you gotta clean the tanks and you know, 
change out coils, you know, build coils, re-wick and do all that. I don't care. I like that. I mean, I don't like building coils. Nobody does, but I like the fact that if I want a cool vape, I can put it on temperature control. If I want something just standard, I can have something like this. I can, you know, that's what I want. You know, when I was a smoker, tobacco companies didn't tell you how to smoke. They didn't tell you, they didn't give you, you know, an option of what you wanted to do either. I don't want them dictating what I can do when I vape to stay off cigarettes. I don't want them having a hand in this. They want to put out these little bullshit products. I don't care. Put them out, man. These are for somebody. But they're only for somebody for a short while. If you ask me, these are a waste of money. Okay. For all you people out there that might see this, that might not, I don't know, I don't get a ton of views on my channel, I'm not a huge channel, but for anyone out there that might see this, this isn't, this is a waste of money, because these don't work. And I've had plenty of people see me vaping, and like, oh, I tried that, it just didn't work for me. What'd you try it with? And it's always these. These don't work. They don't work. They're not meant to work. <laughs> okay. It's meant to, as a trial to see if you want to move on to something bigger. And these don't even do that right. I don't want this. I don't want to vape like this. You know, and that's another reason why I think with these brick and mortar stores. Well, actually, I'm going to save that for another video. But long story short, man, 18 minutes short, I guess. I don't want this, man. Like I keep saying. This doesn't do it. This is much better. Tastier. It's better. Keeps me off smoking. So, that's why I think play, like Fasada and Casada.org are important places because they're fighting for our rights to be, to vape, and to stay off of cigarettes, man. You can find cigarettes anywhere you want to. Let's, let's not do any more damage to our own community as cloud chasers, as non-cloud chasers, whatever, man. Let's, the one thing we need to unite over is making sure this sticks around in a way that we want it to. You make your choice. Later.